Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My next interview I did at the Barzi Summer Bash 2016 is James Kilroy. All right, you guys, we got another interview here. We got another YouTuber. We got James Kilroy. And I got, you know, I got to say one thing I love about your channel, and I have said this about Keith Rucker, but it is also true here, is I watch your videos all the way through. Thank you very much. I wish you would do a couple more. I will be doing plenty more, yes Good. sir. Because one of the things I like about your videos is you speak with authority and experience that I don't have, to be honest. And I appreciate that. That's why I love your channel. Well, if you can't learn from your own mistakes, learn from mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad has a say, I'm sure you guys have heard it, that uh, a smart person learns from his mistakes, but a smarter person learns from somebody else's mistakes. So that's why you guys watch my channel, I'm sure. Amen. <laughs> So what I want to ask you is, how did you get started in YouTube? Mr. Pete, 222, I um, the, gra the grandfather, the of, grandfather metal of metal working on YouTube. Uh, he did a video. At one time, you could do response videos on YouTube. You could, you could respond to a video with a video. You can't do that any longer. OK. And I did a video. Uh, he did a video creating T-slot nuts for a machine. And I did a response video creating T-slot nuts using a shaper instead of a milling machine. And I responded to his video. Best thing I ever did. I went from zero subscribers to 4,000 subscribers in 24 hours. Are you, that is one of the biggest growths I've ever heard. Because Mr. Pete has, you yes. know, the, the institution. And that's how I got started. And um, if they still allowed response videos, I'd be doing response videos every week. To Mr. In, Pete. Mr. Pete and to Adam <laughs> and to John Saunders and all the rest of these guys. Uh, because I, uh, the other thing is I don't want to repeat I don't want to repeat the same stuff over and over again. So showing an alternative technique is I think a useful yeah, way to do video, and that's something people should keep in mind. You know, well, I you do don't want to do videos on grinding tool bits, guys. Okay? Because Mr. Pete has hammered that stuff out, <laughs> right? It is it is in the bag, man. It is. So how long have you been doing videos? About uh, two and a half years. Wow. Okay, I think I've been doing a little longer than you, Time but not by, it. it does. That is excellent. So, um, what advice do you have for somebody who wants to do YouTube videos or is doing them now and just needs a little kick? Okay, don't, okay, this is one of those pieces of advice where it is do as I say, don't do as I do, all right? So, uh, produce your videos on a regular basis. This is the best thing you can do for your channel. Produce a video, if you, if you produce a video say um, Mr. Lipton's excellent Monday night meat love series, it's a Monday night. Yeah, right? the consistency. It, be consistent. Uh, <clears throat> don't worry about your videos being too long. You don't, need, you don't have to have 45 minute to one hour videos. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, get, look at your analytics. Look at your YouTube analytics. You have you fabulous analytics. Look at them, learn what they mean, and, and use that information to your advantage. Uh, that, I can't think of a little summary, that's the best. Well, let me theory. ask you this. I want to invite you to do a video on analytics. No problem. Would you be interested in sure, doing that? Sure, I'd be glad to do that. Because it's sometimes the analytics are, they have terminology that I don't understand sometimes. Sure. If somebody gives them clarity, that would be great. Sure. Now, let me ask you a geeky question. Bring it. What type of camera do you use and editing software? Okay, software, we'll do software first. I use PowerDirector. Most of the guys use PowerDirector. Um, and I, I edit on a PC, not a Mac. So, it, but it's a, it, it works fine. Uh, cameras, I have a mix. I've got uh, some Canon cameras, someone we're using here. I have uh, Nikon uh, D3300, and I have a, um, a couple GoPros. Okay. So that kind of gives you a, a mix. I, 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 the reason I say that is because I don't think I'm really perfectly happy with any of them. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, you know, there's, there's little tricks and uh, things you have to do with each type of camera. DSLRs are great, but they don't track focus like a video camera. Right. right? Yes. Um, uh, the, the small type of cameras, uh, uh, like the little snap type cameras are great. Uh, inexpensive, they produce a great video but you can't mount them to a machine, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you get vibration issues. GoPro, yes. yeah. and, you know, uh, I, they work, they produce a beautiful video that you don't, they don't zoom, and um, I found them to not last as long as the other ones. So, <laughs> but 
uh, you know, you just have to try some stuff out, right? Okay. Just because somebody uses one type of camera doesn't mean, you, a lot of people use cell phones. Yeah, right? and that's a valid, I think one of my, my very first video was shot on a cell phone. Yeah. I've got a I've got a Samsung Note 5, right? It it produces way better video than the, I I started off non HD. I started off shooting with a Canon. And I was doing 640 by 480. Okay. Right. Uh, so you can use a cell phone if you have a, a selfie stick that'll mount in your tripod. And and you know the most important thing is just give it a shot, right? Yeah. It it doesn't cost you anything to post a video. Throw it out there, right? Yeah. Uh, don't assume that you don't have anything valuable to say. Yeah, and here's, here's one of my pieces of advice about doing videos. It's, it's more important to just go out and do the video than try to do it perfect. My attitude towards video is I'm not trying to do great videos. I'm trying to learn how to do good ones, and the only way you can do that is to just start producing them. Nobody's going to remember your first videos because you'll take them off a year or two later. <laughs> but for us guys that have not taken them off, go look at our very first videos and you'll find how embarrassing we were. And it hopefully will inspire you to just go out there and go for it. Yeah, I get comments on my first couple of videos all the time about how terrible my videos were. <laughs> and I'm like, well, great. So like, you know, 70 videos later, hopefully you'll like what I've been doing. This, this, was, two, this was two years ago. Or, a brand new thing. Why aren't you doing HD? I, this is my first video, that's buddy. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. But that's good. I don't get comments from my first videos. All right, you guys. Let's get back to the party. But let's give James Kilroy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy meeting everybody. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I know I enjoyed producing it and also getting a chance to talk to these guys. It's been a great experience. If you did like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some of your positive, supportive comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.